Okay, so um, uh, sorry for that interruption. Mtali, you had you were on the on the floor. Please ask your question about the second uh, part. Mtali. Okay, thank you, sir. I was asking maybe in the, in the case where you find yourself you have um, not enough equipment. Yes. You have, uh, not, how can how can you approach uh, such issue or maybe you need to trash out some certain practicals or how can you approach such issue in cases where you have maybe little equipment? Okay, thank you very much, Mutali, for that question. Anyone to briefly talk about what Mutali is um, respond to Mutali's question? Anyone? Anyone? Okay, sir, just to try. Yes, just want to try. I think uh, when you've got little equipment and a lot of learners, maybe uh -huh. you can just like try to put them in groups. You, uh -huh. you split them from a group. That's what I can do. Can I can Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, um, uh, Otilia is talking about splitting them into groups. Uh, anyone with a different view? Anyone with a different view? Gently. Yes, gently. Um, sir, like uh, Otilia said, we uh -huh. put them in groups and then maybe at uh, your own time, maybe uh -huh. in the afternoon or during other uh, time, you can mm -hmm. now uh, uh, introduce them to the practical part. Because when you just do it like during class time, it may consume more time, hence uh, uh, drawing back your lesson. And uh, sir, yes, uh, if, if, if you've got little resources, then you have to go borrow to the next uh, to a neighboring school. You improvise. <laughs> you improvise. <laughs> Yes, a, a, a teacher is supposed to be resourceful, okay? Mm -hmm. When you have got a few equipment, make mm -hmm. sure to say you become so very much resourceful, okay? Certain, the certain lessons will not be very easy for you to attend because of lack of equipment, okay? And also okay. understanding. Oh, sorry, so, yes, yes. Sorry, Sapa. Because uh, I, I looked at the aspect where maybe you need to, for us, like uh, we are going for practicals, Mm -hmm. I know we've got less privilege. Maybe you can, where you can tell your pupils, your learners to say we can have a, 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 another class in the afternoon. So that's the aspect that I have to look on this. Okay. The time being given, I know it's too it's practical things. It's too costly like it comes to time. It means more time. So I was looking at that aspect to say, maybe you not have that privilege to, to have another class in the afternoons because masculine and whatever you said to say, there uh, are other pupils who are coming in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. And of course, other, other things, other programs as well, as a teacher. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, Mutale, for that, uh, uh, that, 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 that uh, um, input, okay? So now, uh, basically, you know, uh, when you are trying to set up a practical, make sure, you have put everything possible, everything that is supposed to be uh, uh, put in place. Make sure to say you have put them in place. Do not look very disorganized as a teacher. During the lesson, that's when you are trying to go and uh, get a, 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 a mouse from the computer lab. No. Okay? During the practical session, you are supposed to allow your learners to be attentive. Okay, and to make sure to say they respond to the tasks that have been prepared. Okay, not a situation where by during the practicals that's when you are trying to send a child to say, "Can you go and get uh, this from the computer lab?" And that child will be missing out as you are sending that everyone as you are sending that child to to go and do that. You see, you are doing a very big disservice. Can you go and get me some, uh, some, some maybe a internet cable from the, the computer lab? You are being unfair to that learner. You are also being unfair to the learners, those that would have remained inside there. Because even your delivery will not be up to the date. You see that? Because you'll be thinking of the child that you have sent to say, can you go and pick up this? Okay? And then, so, 
it's not an easy thing, but make sure to say you plan properly for your practical. All together. You need to make sure to say, you as a teacher, you become so resourceful. Not a situation whereby you as a teacher now, you become so uh, a hindrance to the progress. No. You see? You know learners to say the learners are very clever as well. They are able to still to say this teacher is not prepared. Yeah? They are able to say to say this teacher, I'm a beso. I'm a you see that? So to avoid all those things, make sure to say you plan for your practicals in good time. Allocate enough time to your practicals to avoid these inconsistencies. If I told you only have one computer, how are you going to relay the information to the 50 children that you have with one computer? You see that. Okay, it's not bad for say telling your learners to say, ah, those that have got computers, laptop, please tomorrow come with your laptops. You are being resourceful as a teacher. And then you, you borrow one or two laptops from your colleagues. Maybe you have five laptops now. Okay, and then you, you are now able to see to say, ah, per laptop, you are going to have maybe 10 children. If you are lucky enough, you could have maybe 10 laptops. You would have gathered 10 laptops. Out of gathering 10 laptops, Maybe you have five children per laptop. So your lesson will become successful like that. And you will not only focus on the aspect of teaching the learners uh, values about it, or, or teaching the learners the theory part or the practical part or the content part, but you are going to also inculcate your learners into appreciating the aspect values of the interaction. <laughs> Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sir. You interact, you, you are going to help your learners to be, appreciate the aspect of um, interacting with each other. Okay? Yes, Ziwa, you say you have a question. Please kindly unmute yourself and ask that question. Yeah. Yes, sir. My question is that you find that when we go out there for teaching practice, we're giving these pupils. Yes. The situation is over there by lacking some gadgets. Yeah. Can we make our, our assessment to be like reliable if pupils are taking those uh, practical in, on a different time? Yeah, there's a question there. Anyone to give it a try? Ah, so I mean, I didn't get this question. You were saying to say, how can you make your, your question reliable when you are trying to have uh, your learners access only one computer? Ziwa, is that the correct way version of your question? Yes, I was saying that having that the pupils will be taking the... You are breaking. Okay. Ziwa, you are breaking. Is Ziwa still I'm there? saying that. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm saying that, uh, having that people will be taking the practical at different times. Uh -huh. Lack of some gadgets. Uh -huh. So, how can you make your assessment to be to all of them? Yes, he's asking uh, to say. Me, I, I think, yes, yes, I did. I think uh, taking uh, practicals on different times is not a problem, provided you are teaching them the same thing. If you are teaching them the same thing, you can just teach them the same thing. And you are, because they come at different times, they're teaching different things. Yes, that's when, uh, but otherwise, if you are teaching them the same thing, then plus on assessment can mean. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, Petrias. Petrias has got something to say. Yes, I think uh, but is trying to, to say that uh, I guess since, since the, the people are having the, the, those exams at different times, you find that maybe the first group when they finish, maybe they'll they go and tell the second group the, the answers. So now, that's why now Ziwa is asking, how can you make this? The question. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, gentry, gentry. Um, I think for me, the best you can do is um, when the first group 
gets into class and then the other remaining groups should be locked in a room i think maybe in class so that the, the the first group when they finish mm -hmm. yes yes gentry you're breaking up you're breaking up have we lost gentry Gentry, are you still there? Or is it me that has lost the class? Are we still there? Gently, are you still with us? Pethias, are you still there? Yes, guys. Hello? I seem to have lost all of you. Gentry, are you there? So, so uh, um, we were just trying to conclude uh, on the aspect of uh, uh, the, the assessment. So, um, um, Utale rose up a, a question and then he, uh, Pethias also had the concern to say, how can we 
uh, allocate and then gently was on the floor. Please gently, kindly share what you. Yes, sir. Um, what I was saying is that um, I think the best way to make sure that the, the assessment is not so porous is to make sure that the, the learners that get into, into the exam room first, they should not mix with the other learners who are not yet into the exam room. So to make sure that the other learners who are not yet into the exam room, at least they are locked in a certain room, so that the others can write and then they go home. I think that's the best way to tackle that issue, sir. Anyone with a different one? Yes, sir. Anyone with a different view? I saw Mwinga Mwinga has been so quiet. Mwinga Mwinga, please come in. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you are too much in the background, just like he, in class. <laughs> yeah. Mwinga Mwinga, we want to hear you. You know, these recordings are very nice, such that uh, people, people on YouTube are able to hear this. So, Minga Minga said something. Eh? Yes, Minga. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, sorry, I, I concur with Jane because I remember even in high school, they used to do the same. The same by, Yes. The other group is in the lab and you guys are locked in another class. You don't have to meet with those guys who are from the exam, exam moment. And Peter. Peter, are you still with us? Has Peter gone? Hello? Yes, Ziwa. Okay, so generally that, 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 that's how it's, it's supposed to be. Are we together? Uh, you, you have a practical session where you, you, uh, you, you, you have the learners make sure to say maybe they don't interact with the other ones. Okay, so that is what that's the tradition that we have always. <coughs> gotten used to okay where the learners are able to be packed in one one area they don't interact with those that are coming from the exam okay this is to make sure to say uh you you you, you don't uh have a situation whereby the learners already know what is in the exam room no all together so that is the beauty about uh, the practicals uh, that uh, are done this time around. Okay. So uh, unless there are any any questions, any concerns, any other discussion concerning the the, the, 